right, so currently on the road some stock frames. Got some new coming up. Also, put some hill riser pads in my skates. I know it's a great debate whether people prefer flat or incline or race hill. For me personally, it's without a debate. I'm going with race hill. With the race hill, I can actually go down all the way. With the flat setup, I wish it was like I'm gonna fall backwards. It's easy to have a little extra bit of confidence. It allows you to maneuver a little bit better. So yeah, for me, I personally go incline hill all the way. I'm also so done with the setup. Probably still good as a punch to be honest, because at this point I'm so used to them and their wheels are so small. But I'm exhausted after like one lap, because you have to put so much inertia into getting moving. Getting moving. Not only are the wheels small, but they're janky as shit. So that doesn't help at all either. That's exactly why I got these. Can't wait for the GoPro. Holding the phone while doing shit. It's so sketchy. Got to those off. GoPro coming soon. You get the overall concept. I'm gonna put on these new frames and see how we do. Yeah, so as you see here, I mean, there goes the hill riser. Did have been much worse, but not particularly the frames. The wheels are just very small. They started at 60, they're probably like 56 to 57 right now. And it's just time to switch it up. I think it's a bit short, especially since I have a big ass foot. I need all the weight I can get. And I'm used to riding the wish frame, which I have, but it got kind of rotted and it doesn't fit as good anymore. So I got something new. That's what I'm sure. As far as the heel riser, it's just this $10 one off by Amazon. It's actually pretty fire. It works really good. And you can adjust the height. I got it all the way to the max though. Because again, I think just having a bigger foot, you gotta take up all the real estate you possibly can. That's that being said, here we have the package. Let's get it cracked open and see what's inside. It means dramatic, it doesn't even need that. Let's rip this shit up. Oh wow, to my surprise it came assembled. But right here we got the ground control mega frame. Fresh and stock, hot damn, that's looking pretty fire. First impressions too, I've never held these in. Yeah, I got this from rollerwarehouse.com for $94. They were sitting there for like 119 for the longest, and I figured at 94, I need to hop on that because they do have deals and the stuff does go. There's a 64 millimeter wheel, ground control wheels. A big nine bearing, so they say. And uh, judging off the smoothness, it could be a big nine. The advantage of this frame is, is that it has a big wheel, but also the profile is similar to that of the 60 millimeter. So you get the advantage of the speed without having the extended height. It was probably a little bit taller, but very similar. My first impressions, they feel really good in hand, super solid. Super solid, actually. Like, there's no flex at all. Versus the Roshi's frame, which it just bends a bit. This plastic size has a little bit of flexibility. So we got some other stuff in the package as well. Let's see what else we got. All right, so we got some wax. We got a standard skate co advertisement, which I would buy, but Y'all yeah, make my size, so I can't do that. Extra hardware and the Roller Warehouse sticker. Again, thank you, Roller Warehouse, for the great deal. I've been like the Megas for like a year or so. This is between this and the HD2, which I might still get, honestly. Let's get these crusties off. Also, I've been having to rock with this. It's actually worked pretty well, though. Ironically, it's like the best rolling wheel. Comparing the weight of the two frames, honestly, not much of a difference. Like I said, I'll take that as much length as possible. Said on the website 305 millimeters, but I don't know if that's true. I should get my wish frame and compare the size. Compare these two. I would say the wish actually has it by a couple millimeters. I'm pretty dead on though. What is that like two millimeters? No further ado, let's put them on and see how they rock. Here we are with the final result here. Definitely heavier. Damn, you can feel the difference. But nonetheless, be finer and faster. Let's give it a shot. First impressions, definitely feeling these. Much happier already, honestly. Way faster. I didn't realize how janky my current bearings were to right now. Much smoother. 
They're about just four more steep. That could be due to the evenness of the wheels because they're brand new. Much better, quite frankly. Way faster too. Overall, just feel far more stable. Maybe it's the lack of flexibility, that's the extra rigidity adding to the confidence in my skate. Or maybe it's the extra height. That my current setup was far too short. What you think, Bruce? So what we're gonna do now is go to the street and see what we can do. Folks, this was long overdue. Wow. The world of difference in control I have, just overall speed, is amazing. Then again, I was on some original roasty frames. So Definitely rocking with it. Speed. I'm definitely a fan. For $94, you cannot beat that. Solid. We'll go to the skate park and let y'all know how it really gets down. I didn't do any grinds and honestly even avoided doing any T-stops or slides just because I want to preserve the wheels for an actual test. But until then, 